Well, part two from my tutorial. Ray of Dead. Now I'm going to show you a new tips for my video post. And last time I show a tutorial using the video post, like using the Blizzard Effect logo. I'm going to show them this time adding the video post from my particle system. So I have my particle system ready, the force is ready, everything ready. I hope you watch the, the last video tutorial, the part one of this video tutorial. So uh, to make understand this, uh, what I'm uh, talking about. So I'm gonna show how works this video post and adding this for my particle system. The magic trick, please pay attention. The magic trick in this is right click in the particle system, my super spray, and say this is OG channel 1. This is the key or the ID key to cut and check my video post. The video post check what is the ID don't when I'm gonna add my special effect and in this case it's a glow. I'm gonna click on rendering and video post. Obviously I have my video post ready so Check out my, my other tutorial using video post, 3 d Ultimate using video post, and you will understand very well this part. Very easy. You can understand two in this part. I have two events in the layer, like I call it this, and the selector layer. Event is perfected, perfected, made with give it to me the render image, and the effects glow, the effects glow is to add in the glow to the particle system. Now I'm gonna show how works this method flow. Oh, you can add my uh, image effect from here and the label please put a name to dim to make difference between different, different effects you in the label put a name and uh, effects one two and three to separate the effects very important this preview and um, BP quick and this is uh, the I'm gonna use the purple because to show the power the and the colors in this situation. I'm gonna use purple because it's more uh, more bright and uh, you can see very well this. Not for the romantic or something crappy like that. Just for teachings, okay? Teaching and uh, see very well this tutorial because the, uh, when in the resolution you get to is sometimes it's very bad. Sometimes it, it's the process. To transfer the video, the video normal video in high resolution, and YouTube sometimes horrible. Sometimes not only it is out of my hands. And I'm gonna use purple for teaching purpose. Okay, the setup. The setup is just in the in the parameters. You're gonna put in point um, one eight. Uh, and now you can see in the in the, in the screen is no too shiny red. Don't worry, it's because the, the the size of the screen looks very low and bright, very poorly bright. Don't worry. In the final render, you, you see the glowing effect. Okay, and um, inferno. Check electric reset if you if you want. And the quality very important. This board you can play with 10 the, the value and duration the duration will be 3 1 or 10 you can play with this and the speed will be 3 radial size and the radial size I'm gonna use 
this color to make a threshold in the brighter co bright color and the dark color. I'm gonna check the C buffer. Check please the th in the Z buffer. I'm gonna click in OK. I'm gonna see this process. And the perspective is a quick event. I'm gonna delete this to show how you can add this this effect. So click into the teapot and I need the motion blur. It's another magic trick to see the particles, blurry particles moving around and see the, the a trace hole like a tiny comet moving around this this ray of death. Oh, tricks. Right click and call in the object uh, ID material or ID parameter to call the text. And the motion will be very important. Okay? So, this is the part I can tell you. And this is the motion blue. I'm going to motion blue activate for a little bit, just point nine. I'm gonna use image in this time, but more for you can see the difference between image blurry and ocean blurry. So watch out this. And so when I can take a shot, uh, render shot on um, sixty four, and that's the example. I don't want. I don't like that. I don't look very uh, awful come to me. If you are okay with this, okay, no problem. But I'm gonna change a little, little bit this. I'm gonna change the view in the camera. And in the plane you can get another, another Material. I don't know. You, you, you are free to 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 do that. Okay. Just check. I'm gonna change the number of frame. Rendering. Mm. Better, better than that, that that shot. But the particles. I don't like the these particles. Huh? Maybe this is the, the the type of the motion blur is is a mi image. It's taking the whole image, the whole frame, and apply the blur. No, I don't need this. I need do it do for the object. Hmm? And now you don't understand the difference between object blur and image blur. So I'm gonna click an object to apply the motion blur just the object, just the map particle, or just the match you want. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. This is effect. Okay. Rendering, 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 rendering. rendering. Uh huh. Just wait a little, little bit, huh? Coming out, it's coming out. All right, click, ship, presto. This is my, I love it, I like it. That's, it's perfect to me. If you like it, perfect. You can play with this and getting better. No problem for me. Just I teach you how to use this. I'm gonna change the color later. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, how about the color? Perfect. It's just a standard material in from the 3D three D Max library. And just check the self illumination and change this for green, purple, uh, 
any color you need it. Any color. It just I call my standard material this uh, chrome material. This the old material standard. And I change the self color illumination. That's the magic trick. See you next time for the next part 3. Thank you.